हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर ऑल वेल आई वेलकम यू इन माय चैनल एडुस्को टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डायप्टेडिस वाइल डिस्कसिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डायप्टेडिस वील कम अक्रॉस डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ डायप्टेडिस एंड ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जेनरेशन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर डायप्टेडिस Dryptidis is a member of Pteridophyta. Pteridophyta is a division of subkingdom Cryptogamy of Kingdom Planty. The Kingdom Planty is having two subkingdom, Cryptogamy and Phenologamy. And Pteridophyta is a division that comes under subkingdom Cryptogamy. So, this is a specimen of Dryptidis. This dryptedis is cryptogamy because it does not have any flower, but it is having root system, it is having stem, it is having leaf. The roots here are adventitious, while st structure this is having root, it is having stem. it is having leaf so roots are adventitious roots are adventitious we can write down here adventitious roots next stem stem is over here stem is present over here it is rhizomatous so stem is rhizome stem is rhizome and leaf you see this is a total leaf this is a leaf this is a leaf and that is leaf this leaf of fern is called frond it is called frond f r o n d frond so in this trapteris it is having root system it is having true stem it is having true leaf now in this structure or in this plant they are having vascular bundle xylem and phloem so what water is absorbed by the roots adventitious roots that is going to the leaf through vascular bundle xylem and after that what fruits are produced in this leaf that are transported to the different parts through phloem so it is having vascular bundle vascular bundle so this is the structural description of dryptidis which comes under pteridophyta it is applicable in your practical as well as description of dryptidis now i am going to describe the life cycle of dryptidis this life cycle shows alternation of generation this plant is having two phases in their life cycle one is diploid phase that is called sporophyte diploid phase called sporophyte and haploid phase that is called gametophyte gametophyte okay so now you see that it is haploid phase now this sporophyte phase and gametophyte phase alternates in its life cycle that is called alternation of generation this there are there are three types of alternation of generation that is found in case of plant in case of dryptidis we are getting diplo haplontic type of life cycle diplo haplontic type of life cycle diplo haplontic types of life cycle its main body the main body of dryptidis is 2a means diploid it is diploid and this diploid 
body is having three parts that I told you roots, adventitious, rhizometer stem, and leaf that is called front. And the younger leaves is having coiled this type of structure that is called sarcinate vernation or sarcinate taxis. You know, the younger leaf is having this type of coiled structure. This portion is called sarcinate vernation or sarcinate taxis. It is a leaf of the dractis. It is pinnately compound. It is pinnately compound leaf. Each pinna, suppose this one, if we take it out, we can find in the lower side, there is dot 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 structure. That is called surus. That is called surus. If we draw the diagram of each pinna, we can find this type of structures. We can find this type of structures that is called surus. It is called surus. Like this. This is called surus. S O R U S. If we take the cross section of surus, it looks like this. And here some sporangiums are present. Sporangiums are present and this is having one membrane. This membrane is called inducium. Inducium. And this is sporangium. This is sporangium. Now within this sporangium, within this sporangium, there is a spore mother cell. It is having spore mother cell. This spore mother cell undergoes meiosis, undergoes meiosis and produces spore that is haploid. That is haploid. Now you see when spore is formed, so it becomes haploid. That means gametophyte stage starts. So from here, Sporophytic stage is there, bracteris, and when spore mother cell produces spore by meiosis, so then gametophytic stage starts. These spores germinate and produces a heart shaped structure. Heart shaped structure and that is multicellular. That is multicellular. Okay. Very minute structure is formed that is multicellular and photosynthetic. This is called prothelus. This is called prothelus. Prothelus. Okay. And here rhizoids are present. What is present? Rhizoids. Okay. Rhizoids are present and it is photosynthetic. It is Photosynthetic means autotroph, autotroph. So they can prepare their own food as well as this prothelus is having two sex organs. One is male sex organ, another is female sex organ. Male sex organ is present over here. Male sex organs are present over here called antheridium, called antheridium. Antheridium is the male reproductive part which is having 32 sperm mother cell. These 32 sperm mother cells, what are present over here, produces 32 spirally coiled multi-flagellate, spirally coiled multi-flagellate sperm. Spirally coiled multi-flagellate sperms. And Archegonia is present over here. Near this, Archegonia is present. Here, Archegonium, which is the female reproductive part. If we draw the diagram of Archegonium, we can find this type of structure. It is Archegonium. Okay, here, centra, here is a egg or sphere, egg or sphere and one is ventral cell here is one ventral cell 
and here make canal cell okay so this is the structure of archegonia archegonia what is present over here in this portion when sperms are matured these sperms with the help of water comes to the archegonia comes to the archegonia okay this prothallus is monoecious this prothallus is monoecious because it contain female reproductive part as well as male reproductive part now when sperms are coming over here sperms are coming over here this sperms are spirally coiled and multiflagellate as i told you this portion of neck canal cell and ventral canal cell destroyed and this slowly slowly come inside this slowly slowly come inside and at last fertilization takes place what takes place fertilization as soon as fertilization takes place it produces here what is produced that is produced zygote or oospher zygote or oospore oospore is produced understood and it is diploid it is diploid it is diploid and again sporophyte structure starts developing and this zygote or oospher develops and produces this new plants and prothallus slowly slowly destroyed in this way total life cycle of this dipteris takes place as you see that from here to this portion is sporophyte sporophytic phase sporophytic phase and this portion is gametophytic phase this portion is gametophytic phase means haploid gametophytic phase now why it is called diploplontic because here both sporophytic or diploid phase and gametophytic or haploid phase both are independent very very important point here it is that sporophytic phase and gametophytic phase both are independent both are autotrophs because here also chlorophyll present here also chlorophyll present that's why they can prepare their own food and both are independent they are not depending on each other that's why it is called haplo diplo haplontic life cycle because both stages are independent so i think it is clear from this diagram in this video i discuss the structure of dipteris that is very important for you as well as the example of diploplontic life cycle what is prominently shown by this dipteris i think you have learned this portion very nicely if you like it please share with your friends and subscribe my channel eduscope thank you very much